Right, I'm two weeks into Greenfield's work, bar one day, been here every day and I'm now exhausted. It's the day where it's turned from minus six to 14 degrees in 12 hours. It's pretty cool to see all the uh, green grass again. It's very windy up here. Um, I'm hoping the audio is recording okay. These duties today, back and forth to the towns to pick up some final pieces of fencing on posts some big progress. I'm afraid to say I didn't film it just because the weather was atrocious. Um, I'm not 100% sure, I don't know if you can hear me, 100% sure of what I want to do with this. I'm thinking to actually cut off some of the extensions that have grown over the years and see if I can flip it back up in here. Um, this is the cheddar pile I've got, like mega chunks. It's honestly weird seeing it all green again. So there's the curtilage fence. Um, all the posts are in place for that. I just need a gate and some ironmongery for it. Um, I'm gonna see what the ground's like and I may start putting in a strainer today. I'm very, very tired. There's the rest of my cheddar chunks. The old rumours there is, is filling up. I'll uh, I will do a video inside the house soon and plans and things like that, just part of the caravan blowing off in the wind. There's so much to do. It's taking you on a lovely little walk around now. Right, it's time to undo all of this. Right, all the uh, posts are moved. Gonna go back to town. I think I'll grab four strainers and 10 more posts. And that should be more than enough to cover it. And uh, one more 50 meter roll of wire. So much money. Send help, send pennies. Feeling vindicated and tired. Second post run, excuse me, done. I don't think I need any more posts now and I bought an extra 50 meter roll of wire just in case and that's probably for a bit of the curtilage or the road fence. I don't really need too much else to make it all secure now, just the bloody elbow grease and hard work. Two, two more gate posts for the front new access two gates and it's ironmongery and like 400 meters of plain wire and I'm, I'm nearly there but I may whack in a post or two um, I do have the wellies in the truck just in case we'll see Yeah. Yeah, save some battery and uh, turn it off. <laughs> Saz. Right, I don't know if you can hear me that well in these insane gusts, but you're coming with me. I'm only carrying one post. <laughs> it's the last one in the truck. I started uh, laying some more further up the field. Hold down. Do some walkie walkie measure measure. I do four, four spaces for these posts. It's 
to we've got a strainer here on this corner with three posts so obviously to strap in and counter sink those posts down there are in and I've left one of the strainers down there too uh, probably have to put one just in the river There's two posts, Cal. I need two posts. One, two, three, four. Three posts for here. Maybe four. We'll do three for now. Let's, let's go fetch. How many did I say I need? Three. <laughs> I chat a lot of crap, sorry. Well, I'll try and pick these up somehow. Right, this is not ideal at all. They're not the heaviest of posts, but when you carry it in one arm, you're not just feeling exhausted in this wind. Just for the sake of filming it. Ay, ay, ay. If one person watches this and goes, yeah, yeah, I like that, then I'm happy. I'm gonna need another post. I count steps again. One more post. Ay ay ay. Look how beautiful it is though. That's really bloody windy. Only 10% battery remaining. Oh, I love the DJI action too. But it is terrible, sorry, terrible when it comes to battery power and cold temperatures. Post cam. Right, I pulled this boundary post out uh, from the ditch, so as you can see, it's soaking and wet at our end. And this dinner, just realised, it's cheaper too. Because that's soaked, that'll go with the strainer post, so that end can go get buried in the ground. This end I can cut, and then cut the notch out of the strainer, and that can be the support strut. Right, I'm calling it quits for today. Um, done all the posts. I've whacked in as much as I can up the corner of the field. Maybe another... Oh. By the end of this week, at some point, I reckon I'm going to be laying some of the stock fence out. I'll see what Met Office says for the weather tomorrow, and I'll see if I can get that strainer in in the corner here. Where are you? There. And then the one in that corner, get those posts in and see if I can uh, put a fence up. That'll be, that'll be mega progress. Thank you very much for watching and I'll keep recording and I'll put my batteries in charge, I promise. Mwah. <laughs>